Hello and welcome to another episode of Hold Your Own. Um, so little time, so much to talk about. Um, what I've done is, off the last episode, you might might seem a bit jumpy about, is that I've got the two episodes that I had, two and three, and I basically put them together in, into one video because this game is so fucking grindy, it's unbelievable. Um, so what I've done, I've moved home. Simple as, if we go on inventory, and we look at the map, as we noticed before, um, our pharmacist is on Skull Island. So what I've done is we were down over here, I believe. And I've moved here closer to the trader and the mechanic, basically for ease. And obviously we've got Jack, that's down there. And we did a stand the man and then we done this quest for Jack. And the problem was with, with Jack was, is we got no got some XP or whatever, but he, he gave us no quest, he gave us nothing, he just took our our 20 bloody ingots and our 20 planks and just, that was it, nothing, blah, oh, so God knows, so I've done a few quests in between, and one of them was the harbour, so which is I've done down here, um, oh that's complete, so all we need now is just to do the boat, uh, which I've already gotten, but this here is the foundations for our new home. Uh, I did have a rough idea what I wanted to do, but uh, I'm not the best builder in the world at all. But we have crafted an anvil, uh, the saw. We had to get the saw to make the to make the harbour and workbench, and we're getting a, a water tank. And I'm still messing around with the campfires for storage because. But I said we needed to, to get a hull which is here the boat hull and we already could buy it and it cost us five thousand gold coins and i grinded my little titties off getting making arrows going into the caves and um, selling pots and pans to the tree i've just done everything but we got there in the end and i think well we've still got a, over a thousand there as you can say i was still making arrows i just didn't know how much they would sell for and all that good stuff you know but today we are nipping down and uh, completing uh, the long-awaited arrival of the boat. Oh, quick, quick side note while I'm here. Um, all this, I've knocked all of, as you can see, all the vegetation behind. Um, and that way I can see any banditos coming along, nosing around. Uh, and it's worked to trade so far because I can see them from distance. Uh, I've also crocodiles and lions have spawned in and they're a good good little uh, food source and and uh, i was selling their pelt and and all that i must probably be needing stuff like that for later for army which i've noticed are clothing but uh, we'll worry about that some other time so now we can open that and just stick that into the shipyard fishing boat all oh, right oh for fuck's sake Right, we need 20 planks and 20 iron ore. Right. 20 iron ore, 20 planks. And I hope, I hope I've got that. I'm not sure. Where's my ore gone? I thought I had ore. Oh, I'm too missing. Right. I've got planks. Right. I'll be back once I get the two all made, ladies and gentlemen. So don't get us wrong, I, I'm enjoying the game, but there's grind and there's taking the piss. And uh, I think this this sometimes can take the piss very much. Right, we've got pen, plenty of petrol or gasoline for our American cousins. So hopefully that is all done now. It is indeed. Right, well, we'll stick that in there. Um. Jesus, tell you what, my head is not screwed on tonight. It might help if I grab the other uh, ingots. Um, it doesn't help me being a total fucktard in the process as well. So that doesn't help. That does slow me down. Now, so you think you've grabbed it, then you then you haven't, and oh, you just oh, deary me. Right, uh, here we go. So we need that that what else did we need and that 
craft the one and I can't even say how long that's going to take about a minute or so right we'll come back when that's complete boys and girls for fuck's sake and um, what we'll do, we'll have a wander along here, we might say a crocodile, or a lion, and we'll show the, show the mechanics of the, of the beasts. Or we might say a bandit wandering around, I don't know. Who knows? Oh. Oh, it's a bear. got a bear instead but there has been lines on the beach and got the dubious oh there's there's a croc there I can see him plodding along there she oh, that's a pig just to aggravate us so it comes towards us there we go. We'll get you on the beach. So we'll have a look at you. It's a rather large croc. Or is it an alligator? I honestly don't know. I could never tell them apart. Right, quest complete. Now we've got to go and speak to Jack again. Now I've given up on the car. Mainly because it's just as easy to run, to be honest with you. And, um, oh, a wolf, I haven't seen one of them in a while. They are dangerous, they are very dangerous, the wolves, so they catch on the hop, you know. But the lions, like you said, I'll give you a pre warning that they're gonna, that they're about anyway. So it looks like we've got no lines. We'll showcase it another day. Right, we're going to get this fucking boat built. And then we'll go and speak to Jack. Uh, we'll build it there. I'll tell you. Oh, vehicle name. Oh, it has to be female, doesn't it? Um, we'll call her. There we go. And let's have an explore. Oh, we've got a stove we can use. Awesome. So we've got a stove. Drive boat. Open fuel. Right, so we stick all that fuel and storage. We stick all the fuel in there. We've got 29 minutes worth of fuel. Awesome. So there we go, boys and girls. Can we actually go upstairs? Oh, we can. It says drive boat so we can go. Why are you, Captain Pugwash? <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> right, so that in case it's raining. Didn't know why, like, but we don't we don't do the um, calling, calling all that. Right, there we go. That's done. Right, we will talk very soon, boys and girls. We're going to have a word with Jack. And where is Jack again? And he's right down there. So that's going to take us a while. Right. Talk to you all soon. Well, here we are at Jack's place. And I've killed a few bandits. Getting some goodies. Some of the banditos. And I'm just making sure everything's cushy. I can't remember. Jack must be in the red rooster then. So let's have a quick gander in there. I can see somebody. There he is. So I'll make sure he's alone. Right, talk to Jack. Right, quest completed. Oh, Julia. My sister Julia, an arms dealer, is stuck on Skull Island and I have not heard from her in a couple of days. I fear that perhaps something has gone wrong and she may be in danger. Last I heard, she was in a local store in one of the small towns. I really need to make sure she's okay. Can you please assure me that you 
go and find her. Thanks very much. Awesome. So there we go. Our next quest is to go on the good old islands. And we've got plenty of petrol. Um, or gasoline. Right, we're back at our base, ready to go to, if I believe, the, it is Skull Island, which is a, a stroke of luck because basically we've got the pharmacy there. On the way back, I was actually thinking, spawn point, what happens if I die and we, uh, we spawn back on this island, won't we? Ah, we will. So, I've uh, dismantled the bed and it's given us all our resources back, which is nice. And we can just plunk the bed on there and uh, we've just got to remember to take it back with us. Right then, power on and off is P. And away we go. Two thousand years later. Well, that's us eventually made it over here. Um in a fashion. So we'll just give it a bit can we jump off here? No, we can't actually. Oh right. So I wanna get a bit wet. So it's night time. Uh, thirst could be better. But we'll just um, plunk our bed down here, I think. Do you mean it's not letting us put... Oh, I've got to make a fucking foundation. You absolute fucking clampet. Right. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake, Rob. Fifteen nails. <sighs> well, I think we found our gunsmith. I guess he's in that shop over on yonder, next to the trail of trash. Nails, yay! I've <laughs> got two. <laughs> I'll say no to that either. Oh, bread, carbs. All right, just going to check a few more box boxes. Take a bit of food. Fertilizer, we'll, we'll, we can cut this all later. Right, let's see what she has to say. Hey, Max, right, quest completed. Uh, yes, I am doing okay. Tell my brother all is well. We lost all communication on the island and could not reach him. Rick is also safe but could use some help with some repairs. He needs 20 Colbert's ingots to complete repairs to his communications radio and boat. He can be found at the garage here on Skull Island. Please tell my brother I am safe and if you need any gun parts, supplies, come and see me. Awesome. So let's see what she's got. Sniper rifle body. Right, she sells bits and bobs. Oh, military case. Right, nothing. So we've got to build the parts by the looks of it. I'm thinking here. Right, so it looks like we definitely need nails then because we've got another quest on the island. And if we die, I believe we are fucked. Right, we've done it, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, girls and boys. We've actually made a bit of a oh, base. Right, I've been looking at the quick quest here. It says, craft a control panel in, in an advanced workshop. This item is both a crafting station and a control panel for all items that demand electricity. It is necessary to craft in order to have the ability to craft items that require power, fridge, lights, etc., it will require aluminium to craft. Aluminium can be found in the caves 
on most islands but could not be found on dead island caves so that means we've got a cave here and um, if we have a look at the map i believe i think we're right on top of it to be honest with you um yep we've got a cave here a cave there a cave there a cave there fuck me it's dead island you fucking asshole we need to be on skull island you fucking pillock right three there's three i tell you i'm having a bad fucking day boys i'm telling you Right then, so we've got a cave here, a cave there, and a cave there. Right. Get the fuck off of there. Right, we've done the arms daily, so we need to go up there to the pharmacist and get some supplies. We're not doing too bad out of that town, actually. Killed a few bandits, I've, I've, I've raided bits and bobs, but the main concern, we've got the nails to make this fucking foundation, and a bit of a shambles to the end of the... To the end of the uh, episode but it's all tried and error it's all fun in games you know what i mean and that's the way games are played you know if everybody was fucking perfect and then games would be fucking boring mate right so i think we'll call it here for this episode thank you very much for watching until the next time stay safe like and subscribe or don't <laughs>